Tonight, the clock is ticking toward a coronavirus vaccine. The first doses could be available in just a few short weeks, but the public will have to wait. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. The CDC decided today that healthcare workers and nursing home residents will be among the first to get the vaccine. States could start receiving the Pfizer vaccine on December 15th, just over two weeks from now. The Moderna vaccine would first become available a week later then. Both are waiting on emergency FDA authorization. So far, we know California is set to receive 372,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine, with all of them going to health care workers. But the state has nearly 2.5 million workers, so those doses won't even cover a sixth of what's actually needed. And that's not only the only concern here. The vaccines must be kept at ultra cold temperatures. We've talked about that. Not even normal freezers can reach. CBS 13's Renee Santos joins us live at the state capitol, getting answers on the state's storage plans once that vaccine arrives here. Renee. Sacramento County has been using funds from the CARES Act to assist with storing that vaccine. Now, I spoke to the public health officer who says the county has been purchasing dry ice as the state prepares to get those vaccines in just weeks. While the state of California prepares to receive over 300,000 doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, hospitals in Sacramento County are also preparing for proper storage. The vaccine must be kept ultra cold. I started at a minus 80 temperature, um, which is not your normal freezer. Chad Hatfield is the chief pharmacy officer for UC Davis Health. He says its hospital system can store on site. Um, right now we have the ability of, of capturing the dry ice. Dr. Olivia Kassiri is the public health officer for Sacramento County. We are also uh, purchasing some dry ice and also there ha have been other facilities that have actually reached out to us and uh, made their storage uh, facilities available. She says all hospital systems are ready for the vaccine and doesn't anticipate storage issues for the limited first round of doses. But if storage challenges do surface, the vaccine can be kept at normal refrigeration temperatures of slightly above freezing, but only for five days. If we had to go to that stage, um, the supply chain would really have to, to uptick and to deliver product more often as opposed to delivering large shipments. For Emmanuel Garcia, a father of two who hasn't stopped working during the pandemic, a sign of any vaccine is welcoming, especially for the general public. Hopefully by summer, spring, if possible. Now, the California Department of Health did release a draft plan on how the state may distribute those vaccines. We know that the first round will focus on vaccinating healthcare workers. Governor Newsom is expected to release more details about that plan, but I'll have more coming up on six about a phased approach to distribution. Back to you guys. Encouraging news. Thanks for the update, Renee.